Hello everyone, my name is Adrien Luchet. I'm with the Network and Data Center Group at Keysight Technologies. And today I have in one of the labs dedicated to the development of innovative solutions for datacom and telecom. Today I would like to take a few minutes to introduce our award-winning N4891A 400G FEC-aware receiver solution. As you know, the shift from NRZ-based 100G to PAN4-based 400G has been a revolutionary step. Indeed, PAN4Link rely on two technologies that weren't used in 100G. The first one uh, is a digital equalizer, adaptive equalizer, and the second one is forward error correction. Because forward error correction is used, the bit error ratio is not the ultimate quality criteria anymore to characterize an electrical or an optical link. No, instead, we have to use the frame loss ratio, FLR, which governs the link performance after FEC decoding. This raises a new challenge for design validation and compliance testing, because there is no one-to-one -one relationship between the measure bit error ratio and the resulting frame loss ratio. The reason for this is that the FEC performance depends on the error statistics. When the error are randomly distributed, the FEC decoding can uh, accommodate for them. However, rare but long bursts cannot be corrected by the FEC decoding scheme. And unfortunately, uh, digital design, like the one used in 400G uh, system, are inherently generating some burst error. So, understanding the error mechanism leading to uh, this burst error, and also understanding under which condition this burst error take place, is a new challenge for test and validation. In order to address this new requirement, Keysight introduced the N4891A. This unique solution combines the N4891A 400G multiport tester with the MAT40 BERT platform. The 400G multiport tester has up to four uh, QSFPDD ports, each one generating 400G uh, traffic. It could be PRBS encoded or FEC encoded. For compliance testing, eight lane of the 400G GAUI 8 interface inside the, the host are extracted using a HCB uh, TX adapter and brought to the module compliance test. In order to perform compliant uh, testing, one of the lanes has to be stressed, and this particular lane is generating by the BERT. However, as you know, the FEC encoding is striped over all the lanes. It means the logical information is distributed over all the lane. So when you replace the lane coming uh, from the 400G multiport tester with the lane coming from the bird, these two lanes must have the exact same logical information. For this, we use these two cables that make sure that the FEC engine on these two equipment is synchronized. So thanks to this unique solution, it is possible to measure the frame loss ratio under realistic condition defined by the OFCI or by the IEEE standards. In addition, it is possible to measure the system margin uh, to understand how far the system is from having an uncorrectable uh, frame. In this particular example, the BR, bit error ratio, is below the target BR mentioned by the IEEE standards, which is 2.4 to the minus 4. However, the frame loss ratio is above this ratio, and this discrepancy between the BR and the frame loss ratio can be explained by the presence of burst errors. <laughs>